everyone, welcome to this week's Facebook Live. My name is Alicia, I'm an elephant keeper here at the Houston Zoo. And um, this morning we're going to be bathing Baylor here. Baylor is one of the males in our herd. He spends most of his time in the bull yard. He's 10 years old and he was born here at the Houston Zoo. So he's one of 11 elephants we currently have here. And they all get a bath every single morning. So there's several reasons for this. Obviously they wouldn't uh, bathe themselves like this in the wild, but here it really helps us to um, check out their entire body every morning, kind of see how their attitude is, how they're moving, anything that um, might concern us. Also helps us um, exfoliate their skin, get that dead skin off their back, and the hay that they've usually accumulated from the night before. So as soon as our elephants start taking solid food, we start um, doing training with them. We train using positive reinforcement. So elephants have a fairly poor digestive system, which means they eat pretty much nonstop all day. So we take advantage of this with our training. So also during baths every morning, um, some other things that we check out aside from their skin are their mouths and their feet. Baylor here weighs over 7,000 pounds. So you can imagine his uh, foot health is really important. They have nails that grow continuously just like us. So they do get regular pedicures. We trim their nails. Um, we also trim the callus-like pad that's on the bottom of their foot. Elephants actually walk on their uh, tiptoes. So they have that nice squishy pad in order to help uh, with they're 7,000 plus weight. So like I said, Baylor is 10 years old and he is still growing. Uh, someday he will be hopefully as big as his dad, Thailand, which will put him about 10 to 11,000 pounds. Uh, so we have a question here. Dominic asks, what is Baylor eating? So Baylor right now is getting some uh, bread. It's a special treat for them. Uh, usually, what we use the most with training is um, chopped up apples, sweet potatoes, and carrots. Bread for them is a, a special treat that they all really love. So it's not something they get a ton of every day, obviously, but the majority of their diet is going to be hay. Um, but they also get a lot of different types of browse throughout the week. So Baylor's going to turn right now so you can show us his rear feet and let us check them and scrub them. So another important part of um, this training and bath every morning is building a relationship with each individual elephant. They all have their own unique personality, um, different likes and their dislikes. So it's very important for each individual keeper to build a relationship with them so that uh, we learn to what to expect from them and they learn what to expect from us.
and that's going to serve several purposes. One of it, one purpose is to um, protect their skin from getting sunburned, also from getting uh, mosquito bites or fly bites. Uh, but it also, especially in the summer, helps trap that moisture against their skin and keeps them a little bit cooler. Unlike us, elephants aren't actually able to sweat to release heat from their body. Uh, they do have some sweat glands down uh, around by their cuticles, but that's not really enough for a big elephant like Baylor. So that uh, dusting the sand is one way that he's going to help cool himself off. As well as uh, flapping his nice big ears there. They have uh, a lot of blood vessels in their ears, and that's actually where their skin is thinnest on their body. So as they flap their ears, it helps uh, cool down the blood there, and then it uh, gets carried throughout the rest of their body. So Emma asks, how long are their baths and how often? Um, so the length of the bath really depends on uh, what all that elephant was up to the night before. We have some elephants that their baths take much longer than others. Um, some take their dusting very seriously and like to just be coated in mud in the morning for us. Um, so I'd say a typical bath probably takes about anywhere from five to ten minutes. And um, it really just depends if we have anything else we need to do, if there's something on their foot we need to trim or anything like that. Um, so where Baylor's getting a bath right now, um, we actually offer Elephants are different types of elephant encounters. Uh, if you go on our website, which is things.org, you can find out more information about them. But one of the encounters is um, coming and getting to scrub an elephant, probably as most likely you will be Bayless. Uh, you just get to learn more about them and help with uh, their baths. So those are available on Saturday morning. And then on Fridays and Sundays, um, we have uh, touch and feed encounters that take place at the cow yard. So like I said, um, you can find out more information about them on our website. Okay. 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 We have a question from Anita. She wants to know how long do they sleep? Um, so you might see some of the open snapping during the day. Um, some of the adults, especially, they'll take little cat naps standing up throughout the day. Um, but when they lay down at night, they usually only do so for a few hours at a time. Sometimes you uh, might see some of our little ones napping during the day. Uh, usually they'll find uh, some nice shade under a larger elephant and lay down for a few hours. It looks like Baylor's done with his uh, drink here and he's going to go back out into the bull yard with Tucker and Baylor. Uh, so we're going to walk over to the cow yard and uh, over there. here. Nelson is on this side of the yard. So walking over here right now is his mom, Shawnee. Shawnee turned the big 3-0 last month. And she has, in addition to Nelson, three other um, calves that she's had here at the zoo. Uh, her son, Baylor, who we just bathed as one of them. And uh, Nelson is the newest one. So also coming over is our matriarch, Mitai. Mitai is our oldest female here, and she's uh, in charge of everyone out here in the cow yard. Sometimes in charge of us keepers here as well. She just likes to let us think that we're in charge. So 
So little Nelson's uh, still learning how to fully control his trunk and get it to do everything that he wants to do. Elephants have more muscles in their trunk than we have in our entire body. So you can imagine it takes a little bit of time to master that. You might be able to see as they uh, are reaching out for food, Asian elephants have uh, that long finger-like uh, object at the end of their trunk. So they use that to help them pick up small objects uh, like the top produce or even a single piece of hay. It's one of the ways that they differ from African elephants. Um, African elephants have one on the top and the bottom. These guys only have one on the top. So Nelson here, like I said, he's six months old. He's um, starting to show a lot of interest in trying to climb on rocks and logs. Uh, likes to try and climb on top of the uh, big boomer balls that we put in the yard for him. And one of his favorite things, like a typical little boy, he really likes um, sparring, wrestling with his older sisters. So Tilly is uh, his half-sister and closest in age to him. She's two years old and they really like to uh, pull each other's tails, push each other around. She tries to herd him around the yard. She just kind of likes having somebody new to to pick on since she was used to being the, the smallest for the past year and a half. So, um, Nitai here is, she's been here since 1980. So she's been here longer than uh, most of our keeper staff here. I mentioned she was the matriarch, so what that means is um, she helps settle any issues in the herd. She helps um, if any of the babies get stuck somewhere and, and need help. In the wild, she would do things like help lead them to food and water sources. So we have a question here from John. Do they use their hair as they eat? Um, so it's kind of hard to tell in some of the adults. They are still covered in hair. Some of them, um, just like people, are a little hairier than others. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to tell on the little ones since they're so small and all that hair is uh, seems to be more highly concentrated. Um, so they might lose some hair as they, if they have like a favorite spot on their body that they really like to rub against trees and things like that. Um, but for the most part, they're gonna keep their, that hair that's all over their body. Uh, Mitai is a really good example of that. She's, she's one of our hairiest elephants. Um, so Luke wants to know how old is the oldest elephant? Uh, so we didn't see him today, but our oldest elephant here is Thailand. And uh, he's the dad of uh, all of our young elephants here. And um, this summer he turned 55 years old. And he's lived here at the Houston Zoo since 1981. So if you've been here and you've seen a, a big bull out in the yard, it's most likely uh, been Thailand. Uh, so we just had a few more elephants come up here. Um, so the smaller one is Tilly. Tilly is two years old. And then uh, to the right of her is her big sister, Tupelo. Tupelo is, uh, she turned 10 years old in October. So you might notice uh, Tupelo and Baylor are the same age, but Tupelo is a lot smaller than Baylor. Uh, they do have the same dad, but different moms. So Tupelo's mom is a little bit smaller than Baylor's mom, Shawnee. Um, but she's also a little bit smaller because she is a female. When the males are fully grown, they have um, several feet and several thousand pounds on the females. So Tupelo and Tilly were born here at the Houston Zoo. Uh, so Paul asked, how is Nelson since he had his surgery? Um, so if you haven't been following Nelson's story, um, he had a little bit of a rough start when he came into the world. Um, he had a uh, tear in his, um, on his abdomen where his uh, umbilical cord was attached. And so as soon as he was born, within 30 minutes, uh, we had to uh, get, take him to the vet clinic and he had to have emergency surgery. 
Um, so the uh, vet staff did a, a great job patching him up and we've been monitoring him uh, ever since then and he's healed up really well and um, you know looking at him playing out in the yard you'd never be able to tell that anything happened to him in those first couple hours. Um, so he's just a normal little elephant out here eating, playing, doing all the things he should be doing. Uh, so we're going to wrap up here for this week's Facebook Live. So um, I just want to thank you for tuning in and joining our elephants here today. Uh, so make sure you uh, tune in next week, next Wednesday at 11 a.m. to join us for our next Facebook Live. Thanks, guys.